I am the founder and CEO of Goffer Global, which is our own family business and e-commerce website. I also manage operations for a store location. I also manage our family business from an investment perspective. I coach, not mentor, close to 200 clients. And I operate this YouTube channel where I post three videos per week religiously. I also have a second channel where I post things in my spare time with a goal of posting at least once per week. And in addition to that, I'm on a few boards where I attend regular meetings. I'm involved in strategic sessions and also the revision of critical documents. I provide consultation services to several organizations. Many of them are leaders in their industry. I also manage a club on Patreon with over 200 club members and I just launched the Rockstar TV network where you'll be able to get podcast style content, tutorials and videos on self-help topics. I am a mother although my son and stepson are adults but I still do a ton of stuff especially with my son. I am a wife and I'm a traditional wife. I'm the kind that makes sure my husband and my family has food on the table even when I'm not cooking it. Their clothing is always prepared and ready. The house is always cleaned even if I'm not doing it myself and for the most part the needs of my family they're met. I'm a speaker and although I'm not doing it as much anymore by choice I still get the occasional job and if it's for a good cause I'll do it. Now you are probably wondering my rock stars Odetta where do you find time to do all of that? Something is getting neglected. Somebody is being sacrificed. And my rock stars that's why I'm doing this video today because I have figured out exactly how to use tools, technology and strategy to give myself 20 additional hours in every week without losing sleep. And listen, it's tactics and strategies like this or similar to this why I was able to do so many side hustles in the past with my 9 to 5 job and today why I have close to 20 different streams of income. Now don't get me wrong my rock stars, I'm not over here pretending that I perfectly manage my life. Absolutely not. But you know what? I've always lived by the philosophy that anything worth fighting for unbalances our life. And because of that, I will work hard and make sacrifices in the short term so that I can live a much more fulfilling life in the long term. So I'm not going to try to sit here and convince you that this is not about sacrifice. But what I've been able to do is to use technology, tools, tactics and strategies to make those sacrifices a lot less. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise It up is so to great to have you back, rock stars. I really appreciate your loyalty. And if you're not yet a rock star, just hit subscribe and I look forward to welcoming you. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you 12 productivity tips that have completely changed my life. And like I said earlier, these productivity tips have given me at least 20 additional hours per week and the value of that 20 hours is an incremental 10,000 US dollars per month. No joke my rock stars and that by the way is at a minimum because I'll explain not just what the productivity tip is but I'll explain exactly how I use it and exactly how much money it allows me to save or in many instances how much money it allows me to make. So so make sure you stay tuned for all 12 productivity tips. Now what many people don't realize is that time is a non-renewable resource and most resources out there are renewable. Let me give you an example. If you run out of money when you get to your 40s, you can always accumulate money and retire comfortably by your age 65. But on the contrary, if you run out of time because you idled out your youthful days you will never be able to get back that time and this is why my rock stars we have to figure out the best way to get more time and as such to 
work smarter than harder. And that's what productivity tips help us to do. There are different ways that we can either get more time in our days or save time because we're choosing more efficient routes. That said, class is now in session. But hold on, remember the scammers in the comments using my face and asking you to WhatsApp and Telegram them? Ignore and report. Now, class is in session. Now, the first productivity tip is kind of an obvious one, but you know what? Many of us don't use it for that purpose. The first tip is voice to text. Yes, I know you're gonna think, oh, but Odetta, that's not new. Well, you know what? Let me explain how I use it to earn an additional 1,000 US dollars per month. Now, voice to text, for those who don't know, is when you say something and it turns it into text. Now, all my devices, starting with my phone or my iPad, or even my Mac, I'm able to use that technology. And I don't need to install a special app or a special software to do so. If you have an Android, you may need to, but I'm sure by now most Androids are coming with voice to text as a part of the basic phone. Now I use voice to text in many ways. I use it to send my emails. So instead of sitting there typing away on my phone or typing away on my computer, I turn on voice to text and I say exactly what I want to send in email. Hello Rockstar, comma, happy Sunday, full stop. I am so grateful that you are watching and listening to this video and I sincerely appreciate your loyalty, full stop. Thank you for your support and blessings and love to you, my dear. Full stop. New paragraph. All the best, comma, new line, Odetta. It wrote it. Why are you even typing emails? Now, don't get me wrong. I can speak much faster and it will still get it. You just have to speak clearly. I also use voice to text to go through my YouTube comments relatively quickly. I read the comment, then I go into my YouTube comments, I hit it, I click on voice to text and I say what I want it to write and I hit send. I use voice to text to answer most of my WhatsApp messages. I rarely get text messages so I don't even check them, but if I do, I would probably be using voice to text as well. And here's the big one, my rock stars. I'm sure if you have watched my video about how I wrote my book, you'll realize that most of that book was written with voice to text in a platform called Scriver Pro. I was able to speak into my phone or my tablet when I was stuck in traffic. I was able to do so when I was in the kitchen. I use voice to text to jot down the bullet points for this script for this video that I'm doing on YouTube. The bottom line, my rock stars, is that voice to text saves me a ton of time. And as you know, time is money. On average, I save anywhere from 30 minutes to about an hour because I use voice to text instead of typing and that frees up my time to take other revenue generating actions and earn as much as a thousand US dollars per month. Now the second productivity tip that I'd like to cover with you today is one that has been extremely important to me. As a matter of fact, this is what my entire career has been based on and it is outside sourcing your weaknesses and capitalizing or doubling down on your strengths. Whenever you attempt to master your weaknesses, it takes time because there's usually a learning curve. At times, there's a lot of time wasted with trial and error and sometimes even money invested while you are trying to master your weakness. Now, my rock stars, there's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to learn something new but at what expense? With this productivity tip, you go in on your strengths and you use those strengths to monetize them and to create more earnings and to live a more fulfilling life. And you take your weaknesses or your areas of opportunities and you give them to somebody who is an expert in that regard. That quite frankly is the whole concept of outsourcing or business process outsourcing. So I'm an expert outsourcer and it's one of the efficiency tips or the productivity tips that has helped me to completely level up my life. 
life. Let me give you some practical examples. I know my rock stars that most of you are exceptional when it comes to cleaning your own house. And as a matter of fact, you may take pride in doing it. But cleaning our house as an example, that's not one of my strengths. And it isn't an area of opportunity or not my strength because I can't do it. It's because I don't have the patience for it. Now let's say it takes an hour for you to spread your bed every morning, clean your bathroom, to clean up your kitchen, and to sweep and mop your floors. That, my rock stars, works out to be about five hours for the week. And if you were signed up to a platform like Respondent, which is one where I get odd jobs that when I complete it, I get paid immediately, you could potentially earn 500 US dollars in that same one hour. So here is how this productivity tip works. You hire a housekeeper, you sign up to respondent, you use that one hour to earn 500, you pay the housekeeper 50 or even $70 and you keep the profit for yourself. Another great example is the time it takes you to prepare cook and clean up after each meal and i'm not here trying to encourage you to eat out and to spend more money my rock stars no but if it's taking you two hours on average to cook a meal for your family two hours per day is 12 hours that you're spending cooking for the week after you're on a chef find a good restaurant buy the meal for your family for $50 and use those 12 hours to write three blogs, post it on a platform like Medium and make 300 US dollars per blog. That's $900, $50 for the food, $900 in revenue. It's a no brainer, my rock stars, isn't it? I have no idea why you're cooking and cleaning if you can figure out a better way to monetize your time by outsourcing your weaknesses or your opportunities or those things in your life where you're not as efficient and doubling down on your strengths. Now the next productivity tip is the fact that I do not read books anymore. I listen to them. Now there are one or two books that are not available on Audible that I end up reading but I take forever to get through those books. By listening to books I can do so when I'm getting ready, when I'm stuck in traffic, when I'm working out. There are absolutely no limitations and this is exactly why I had to create an audio version of my book because I know what my limitations are. Now reading for me is something I must do because I see it as a means of continuous learning and many of the things that I share with you and some of the strategies that I impart in my day-to-day -day life I get them from books that I've read over the years or books that I'm currently reading. Listen my rock stars I even have my ear pods while I'm taking a shower and listening to a book sometimes. And the book that I was listening to this morning when I took a shower is The 48 Laws of Power. And I'm gonna put the link in the description below if you're interested. Now, let me put a disclaimer out there and say that I don't believe in all the laws, but there is sense in all of them. You just have to choose to do good with these laws and not evil. One of those laws is to get others to do the work and take credit. I completely disagree with that but if you listen carefully to the principles of that law you'll be able to take some good from it. And the law from that book that I'm using to make money is to not waste time on unrewarding activities. This my rock stars is exactly why I don't gossip. I don't have idle talk. I don't even have small talk. I'm not the best person to ask. Oh Odetta, how is the weather? Because I'm gonna be thinking, how is that important? And yes, I know it's antisocial, but I've just practiced so much to not have conversation that doesn't add value that I've lost the appreciation of small talk. Now again, this productivity tip is not so straightforward because what I'm trying to say is that reading books 
is important and being able to listen to books substitutes for reading and I can continue to learn and uplift myself. Back in the day, I remember a time where probably I would be on the phone for two hours trying to catch up with someone or just having idle chatter. I don't do that anymore, my rock stars. Today, I can use that time to write the script and record a video on YouTube and considering that I have videos that are making 20,000 US dollars after only two months, you understand the importance of listening to books and learning tips like these that allows me to be a lot more efficient. Now in your case, it may not be idle chatter. It could be you spending three hours a day scrolling your financial freedom away. And if you are spending three hours per day on TikTok or Instagram and you earn 15 US dollars per hour, that's costing you $1,215 for the month. Is it worth it, my rock stars? You see, I always knew that spending my time wisely was a critical productivity tip, but being able to listen to books and learn through Audible allows me to enhance my knowledge and to learn new things and to drive my efficiency rates to a higher level. Now, the fourth productivity tip I'd like to share is text to speech. And with text to speech, whereas I send my emails with my voice, I read my emails with text to speech. So I'll go on my phone, I'll highlight what I want to read and I'll hit play and I'll listen to it. This is how I listen to blogs and articles as well as long WhatsApp messages because what I'll do is I'll highlight the message and then hit play. Quite frankly, my rock stars, you shouldn't send long WhatsApp messages. It's just too hard to maneuver on a phone if you have something to say and it's extensive just send a voice note and I'm gonna share with you my efficiency tip for voice notes later on in this video in the average day I get hundreds of emails and whatsapp messages so by using text to speech to read these messages and emails I can read them on the go I can read them when I'm in traffic I can read them when I'm doing something else like editing a video or I should say listen to them not read them and on average I know for a fact that it saves me at least one hour per day to listen to my whatsapp emails and an hour per day for 25 days is 25 hours per month and with that time I can figure out ways to make more than 12,500 US dollars in the month. Now the next productivity tip is Grammarly and I've talked a lot about Grammarly in this forum. Now Grammarly is a software that helps you with sentence construction, spelling, dictation, and basically everything that you didn't learn because you weren't paying attention in your English classes. Actually, that's me, my rock stars. As you can tell from listening to my videos, English, speaking it or writing it is not a strength of mine. Actually, I'm worse at writing it than I am at speaking it. So for me, discovering Grammarly was like discovering cheese bread. Who knew that you can put melted cheese in bread and sell it like that? It's one of the best discoveries of this century, my rock stars. And to me, that's how I feel about Grammarly. Now, obviously, Grammarly is not promoting this video. I'm giving them some free press and I'm hoping that they hear and give me a free one year subscription at least. But the point is, my rock stars, when you encounter a great productivity tip and you want it to help others to be more efficient, you have to share even if you stand to gain absolutely nothing from doing so. Now, Grammarly helped me to save about 2,000 US dollars when I was doing my book because I decided to double the size of my book after I had it edited and proofread and I didn't want to pay again to edit it or to proofread it, so I used Grammarly and saved about 2,000 US dollars. Now, I create a lot of documents for my consultancy. And again, I'm not good at writing English. And as such, I have to rely on a software like Grammarly as opposed to paying a proofreader, which can be very expensive. In the average month, if I'm creating 10 documents, whether it's a pitch, 
it's a summary or even the content for a PowerPoint deck with a proofreader charging anywhere from $200 to $500 on average, I'm able to save anywhere from $2,000 to $5,000 per month. And I'm not even talking about the revenue that I'm getting by churning out good documents in my consultancy. Now, this next one is a productivity tip for those who have a YouTube channel. Because you would have heard me on my second channel, assuming you watch it, which is Odetta Rocket Unedited, say that I record all my three videos for the week on this channel, my main channel, once per week. I get up on a Saturday morning or sometimes a Sunday morning if I'm busy that Saturday and I get ready, I put on my makeup once, maybe I'll touch up my lips and so on, I curl my hair once and maybe I'll modify it with a few accessories. But the point is that process to bathe, hair and makeup and to titivate with jewelry and all that good stuff it takes me about an hour and to set up my camera and everything takes me about another hour so it's taking me two hours every time i need to record one video by recording all three videos the same day back to back I'm saving two hours for the most part because I'm not having to redo my makeup because I'm doing a video Monday and then another one on Wednesday. The point I'm trying to make is by putting on my makeup once and recording three videos, I just go change my clothing. Sometimes I only change my top because that's all you're seeing. And I knock out those three videos in three to four hours. And during the week I edit them, I'm able to save on average two hours per video assuming I had recorded the videos at different slots throughout the week one it's gonna upstir my calendar because now I have to leave something else that I'm doing Wednesday as an example go get ready set up record a video and try to continue no I choose a weekend day when my calendar is less packed I get it all in and I'm able to churn out those videos much more efficiently. It's probably why I've been this consistent on this channel. Now the next productivity tip is the fact that I schedule all my conference calls or long calls or calls to family that I know is going to take a long time when I'm traveling and driving as an example or stuck in traffic or when I'm cooking which I do occasionally. Now when I'm in traffic I'm able to leverage the Bluetooth system that's in my vehicle to host a conference call or to catch up with family or to have a long business related conversation without losing time. If you're cooking and doing the laundry, schedule those conversations, whether they're professional or personal for that time so that you're able to multitask and have more efficient days. All you need, my rock stars, is a good Bluetooth headset. And for that matter, you can go on Goffa Global or go to our Goffa store and get some great Bluetooth headsets there that will make this productivity tip even better. By scheduling these meetings when I'm doing something else, I'm able to free up maybe an hour or two every day and instead, I can use that time and monetize it by either writing a blog or an article or I can record a video for my second channel which although it's not monetized yet will be monetized eventually. The point I'm making my rock stars is that by multitasking you are able to free up more time to do other things and monetize those other things to make a few extra dollars on the side. The next productivity tip is my use of Alexa and Siri. Listen, both of those girls have become a part of my life to the point where I took Alexa into our bedroom and now my husband is constantly fighting with her. But you know what? I'm gonna keep playing referee and hope he allows me to keep her there. Now this productivity tip is much bigger than you think my rock stars because just using it to track simple reminders will save you money. Let me give you an example. When I'm in the kitchen cooking, I'll say, Alexa, add onions to my grocery list. And it will add it and update my grocery list that's available on my phone. So that when I go to the supermarket, everything is there. Now, if I had to go find paper and pen and write it down, 
or if I even had to take up my phone and record it, it takes time away from what I'm doing. And sometimes, quite frankly, I forget. But by saying it while I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm able to continue and able to log it so I don't forget it. By going to the grocery store and forgetting to buy those onions and having to go back, considering where I live, it's gonna take about two hours out of my day. Literally my rock stars. So using it to remind me of not just meetings so I can be early and not get fired by people who I coach or companies that I consult with or just for reminders of things like grocery items, pharmaceuticals and so on is a huge productivity tip that has the potential to save thousands of dollars per month. Now the next productivity tip is another simple one, but I realize it does save me a lot of time. Again, I get a lot of voice notes via WhatsApp and I also get a lot of messages as I mentioned earlier. By speeding up my voice notes to one and a half or two times as fast, it helps me to get through them twice as fast as if I listen to my WhatsApp at a regular pace. Yes, my rock stars, there is a way to actually speed up your WhatsApp messages that come in the form of a voice note. You can also use text to speech to read your WhatsApp messages and speed up the reading so it goes faster. Now, whether it's that the person speaks slowly or that I just want the message to get to where I can respond. With over 300 messages coming in on the average day on my phone, with a lot of them being voice notes or messages that are long enough where it requires me to play that message, it would take me on average about a minute to read and respond to the average WhatsApp message. And that works out to me saving about two and a half hours, which in essence, based on what I can do to monetize my time i can earn as much as ten thousand us dollars for that time no joke my rock stars it may not be immediately but with passive income it can come later on another productivity tip that i use every day is ways i don't know if you guys don't use ways whether you're in jamaica africa us canada india it's available everywhere and what i like about waze when compared to google maps is the fact that waze does a much better job of tracking traffic it will track where police officers are as well because it's a social media app and as long as somebody puts in that a police is somewhere it will tell you that's not why i use it though and it will track also where there's a red stoplight because somebody will record it in the platform. But most importantly, I use it to cut a one hour route or travel time to half an hour. And I'm able to save that time, which definitely adds up over the course of a month. 30 minutes extra three times in a week my rock stars that works out to over an hour and you know as i've shared before that translates into thousands of us dollars if you're able to figure out how to monetize your time now this next productivity tip is actually an app that i use on my phone and it's for cibc which by the way is the only bank that i do business with why i like their app is because it's the most sophisticated online banking app that I've ever seen. And believe me, I don't just bank in Jamaica. So I've seen international products. The point is I can use this app to take care of a ton of things like paying my bills automatically because I'm not lining up in 2023 to pay any bill. I can schedule it to pay staff members. And with this app, it's so all inclusive that the only time I need to go to the bank is when I need to sign a document like I'm going on a board or something like that, which is probably once per year. Year. By leveraging an app of this nature and something may be available from other banks, I'm not sure. But the point is by getting your banking app to do most of your bill payments for you, if you have staff to pay them automatically, you are able to save a ton of time because not only are you not having to go to a bank or to hire somebody to do this on your behalf, you are able to set it up on a schedule and it gets done whether you're awake or asleep. Now the 12th productivity app is the newest thing on the block. 
and it's chat GPT and listen my rock stars you need to watch this video where I share different ways to make money using chat GPT because if I talk to you one more time about the power of this AI I don't know what would happen I, I don't know I can't figure out anything to say in such a short time the point is I am able to write a script that would normally take me an hour for my YouTube video in less than five minutes I am able to get a summary for a book that I may not have time to read by just typing in chat GPT summarize the 46 laws of power as an example and getting exactly what the book is about of course at a high level but it's enough to give me knowledge to speak on it if I needed to I can write my blogs my articles and it will take me minutes versus hours to do and I can put them on platforms where I can monetize that at a much faster rate and in all these things that I'm describing chat GPT so far is saving me about five hours per week which equates to about ten thousand dollars more that I can earn by monetizing that time and doing something else my rock stars it's powerful now those are the 12 productivity tips that I wanted to share with you today there are quite a few more on my list and I'll probably share them later on but I do hope that something in this video resonated with you and if it did please go ahead and watch this chat GPT video if you haven't done it yet or just watch another video on my channel you don't even have to subscribe or like just do that for me my rock stars or newly acquainted rock stars or soon to be rock stars thanks in advance and walk good <laughs>